Tropical forecast starts now with meteorologist Dan Tomaso. All right, I know we got to talk about today. We do have to talk about today. But I know what's coming up. You've been paying attention. And it's going to be nice. It is going to be nice. Now, here's the trick. Usually in fall, it's one or the other. We get stuck in a long, wet, damp pat pattern or a long, nice, dry, sunny pattern. And we're going to flip that switch here. Come the next 36 hours. I'm even going less than 48 at this point because I do think by the time we get to lunchtime Saturday, things are going to be looking up. But taking a look at Camp Hill, this is what's happening across the region. Darker clouds, thicker clouds, and even this time yesterday, the same thing goes for E-Town. This is kind of that squeeze we've been talking about from west to east. What is happening? Well, we have two areas of clouds to watch, and now the mid-state becoming overcast in between. We have clouds off to the west, clouds off to the east. No showers locally yet, but there are showers surrounding us to the west and to the east. First, this area of rain over Ohio and western Pennsylvania, that starts to slide in our direction. So, too, will some of this moisture along a coastal low move up through the Delaware, Chesapeake Bays, and eventually into our backyards. But in the meantime, it's relatively pleasant. Temperatures low to mid-60s and really warmer at this time than it was yesterday. So yesterday we topped out about 67 degrees. We might be a degree or two warmer than that as we finish out our day. But taking a look at our planner today, the hourly forecast taking us into the upper 60s and then we're relatively stable. I really see a lot of us staying close to 60 degrees overnight tonight because of the clouds, because of the moisture, and this is the reason why. As we watch this east flow, southeast flow continue throughout the day, all the clouds just continue to encroach farther and farther west. And I even think this is being a little optimistic that there could be some clear spots overnight. I really think it's going to be overcast, damp, drizzly at times. Same thing goes for tomorrow morning. Be prepared for some areas of fog, some light rain to start out our Friday. And throughout the day, periods of light rain are possible while we stay socked in with the cloud cover. West of the mountains, a totally different story. Seeing some clearing out there and heavier rain to the east and northeast. But yeah, Friday. Not going to be the brightest of days. Saturday, by lunchtime, we start to see more of that widespread clearing, high pressure moving in, and that's what makes for the nice weekend we were just teasing about there a few minutes ago. But in the meantime, rain totals through the next 48 hours, not super impressive. So this takes us through early Saturday morning, and a couple hundredths of an inch of rain, sure, it's helpful, but it's not a whole lot. The next two weeks ahead of us, showing signs to be warmer. So starting out October on a high note, what does that mean temperature wise? Middle to upper 70s to near 80 degrees. James, we're keeping numbers near 80 through at least Wednesday next week, possibly a little bit longer. Big area of high pressure means we stay dry too. So I mentioned it's going to be like a switch flip. So all week this week, we've been talking about clouds, light showers, and rain. Next week, don't have to worry about that. It's going to be a totally different ballgame. We deserve it. It's going I, to be, I think so. It's going to be really nice. We, of course, need rain. We keep mentioning that. There are some bans in place for burning and, of course, yeah. some water issues, too. We hope over the next few weeks, too, we get some chances for rain mixed in there. Good point, Dan. Thank you very yep. much. Up next.